ever seen a blue like that before. It was like a bass. There we go. Yeah. Absolute beauty. Oh. 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 The fish are jumping everywhere right now. That's what I'm looking for right there. Yep. Let's anchor up. First fish of the morning. Beautiful blue. Look at him. He took that thing down. That was crazy. Let's get him back in the water. Go back and get bigger. He has no idea he's even really. See you later. <laughs> awesome. It's been about 20 minutes with no fish. I've had a few bites, but they've all come in towards the shore oh, here. No. So all I'm gonna do is reel everything up and turn it back around and toss it at the shore. And we're gonna see if there's any fish this way. Let's go. Oh. There we go. About time. Doesn't really wanna come up. Look at that big old channel. Pretty one. All right. Yes. I was thinking when we weren't getting many bites out in the deeper water there that they might have moved up. All the bass and everything were jumping on the shore this morning. Look at that pretty guy, huh? Woo! Pretty little channel. He's just a little guy though. I think he goes back. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. See that? Still got his little spots, but I think it's time to get him back in the water. And go back to hunting, get bigger. See you later, dude. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to spool this 200 pound mono onto this professional yo-yo gator buckets hand line. Put some catfish bait on there and see what happens. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Tie this on here and Bart's spinning it up, I guess. I'm not messing with the rest of that. That was a nightmare. All right, don't do not do what I'm doing. I don't know if there's a better way to spool these. Oh, but hey, <laughs> we've got about 75 yards of 200 pound test on a hand line. Before I mess around with a hand line, let's go change spots. This is where we've been since this morning and two fish, I mean, it's been all right. We've had a lot of bites, but I think we can do better. Let's go find someplace else. Got him on that one. Oh, no. Whoa, he is huge. Look at this. Look at that. Whoa. How cool is that? I'm trying something I don't usually do. I am fishing in 10 feet on a flat right now and the reason I'm doing it is because the water temp is pushing 66 degrees and all the bites that we've had today have been in shallower water. It's been like 80 degrees the last few days so it really wouldn't surprise me if they're kind of moving up into their staging area before they go into the real shallow water for the spawn. Um, again it's like really early in April so I kind of doubt it but i'm going to give it 15 minutes just to see if any of these fish have moved up into 10 feet Let's see what happens there we go. up on the flats yes gotta love it when a plan comes to oh no did i just lose it nope there he is he's still there he's just rolling these fish are moving up onto the flats Whoa! Hey, what's up, man? Yes. Oh, that's not too bad for giving something a shot. That's a pretty little blue. Looks like they have moved up a little bit. I'm in about 10 feet of water. 
Gotta love it when a plan plays out like that. Let's get him back in the water. Hey, call in your bigger friends. Where are you all at? Where are the bigger ones at? See you later, dude. Gotcha. Oh, all right. They are moving deeper in the creek. Oh, this one feels kind of heavy. It's hard to keep pressure on them. Oh, you're a fighter, huh? <laughs> Look at you. Holy smokes, that is a slob of a catfish. Look at you, you're a beast. That is an old channel cat right there. And what a beauty. <laughs> Holy smokes. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, look at this monster. What a beautiful fish. Oh man, I'm tucked all the way in the back of the creek here. They're moving in shallow. What a beautiful fish. All right. <laughs> Get you back. He's biting down on me. You're gone, man. You just got to let go. You don't want my thumb, do you? Get all his battle scars. Woo, see you later, man. And log stuck to my... Don't do it. It's not an original joke. Hold. Hold. Got myself a stick fish. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, my hat cam was off the whole time. Look at this thing. Beast of a fish back here. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're all back here in this creek. That's crazy. It's really great when a plan works out like this, huh? Let's get him back in the water. Look at how pretty this thing is. Oh, man. All right. You ready? It'll let you go. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there he goes. Great fish. Another great fish. Oh, jeez, that one was vicious. Oh, look at the size of this thing. Holy smokes. Man, I've never seen a blue like that before. It was like a bass. Look at this monster. What? Oh. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That's a heavy fish. Look at this fish. Look at this thing, it's a beast. Oh my gosh. Oh. What a beautiful fish. That thing's huge. Oh. oh. Look at that thing. I was not expecting that back in this creek. Absolute beauty. They're all pushing back up here with this nice warm water. First week of April. Oh, he's all in frame. So beautiful. Well, he's been out long enough. Let's get him back in the water. 15 pounds. All right. Look at his battle wounds on his fin. Oh, man. See you later, dude. Oh. <laughs> Yes! Yes! God, what a monster. That was a great fish. Kind of hesitant to do this, but I've set up this hand line 
with just a regular old slip sinker and a Santee Cooper. And uh, I'm gonna put a big old head on an ADOT hook back here in this creek. And I'm gonna chuck it out behind me into this, uh, into this shallow, shallower, shallower water. I'm actually a little bit nervous. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Maybe nothing, but we'll see. Gonna wing it and we'll see what happens. Oh, that's nowhere near far enough, but you know what? I'm gonna let it sit there. If something happens, something happens. I'm just gonna set it uh, onto my uh, throttle here. And if that starts whizzing out, I guess I just grab it and reel it in. Right? Oh my god, there's a fish on this. I'm a little nervous about that. Can I, am I supposed to feel it or? Oh. Well, now we got one over there too. There we got him, all right. There still might be something on that hand line, but get him in first. Hoping for some lunch here. I don't have anything to eat. Yeah, there we go. This blue will do. Actually, he's a little big, isn't he? All right. Oh, all right. Another one over here. All right, look at him. He's not too bad. I do need something to eat for lunch, but he's a little bit big. I'm gonna throw him back. Let's catch another one. Tell your buddy to take my hand line. There he goes. It's been about a half hour since our last bite. I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna move. I, you know, I'm torn right now. More shallow, further into the back of the creek, or should I go back into the deep water? I don't know, I'll let you know what to figure out. Oh my god, this thing just got smoked right out the gate. I didn't even have all my poles out. That is a beautiful little blue. Oh, look at him. Man, whoo, that wakes you up. So we decided to fish a ledge. I kind of cut it in between. I wasn't sure shallow, I wasn't sure deep. So I just came out to the edge of this cove where it drops off from three feet down to 20 real quick. And I'm just bombing the side of the ledge. And here we go. About six, seven minutes into my 15 minute timer. Beautiful. It's an awesome fish. Let's get him back in the water. You ready? Go home. What are you doing? Woo! <laughs> See you later, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. That's another good one. One after another. You ready? Go home. Well, you see what's happening Woo! here, Mark is he's just not paying attention. Whoo! Just releasing that one. Another one. Hammered it down. Oh, wow, look at you. That's another shot. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Look at him, he's been in the mud. He's been holed up in the mud. Probably right along the side of this ledge. Oh man, he tried to jump out of the net. Whoa! That's the second massive blow of the day. Holy smokes. Look just power. Straight power. Beautiful blue. The side of him was covered in mud. Must be sitting down in the mud. Two in a row. Completely awesome. Amazing day out here. Oh, you can't beat it. Let's get him back in the water. 
Oh, he's heavy. <clears throat> get him back in so you can get bigger, man. Whoa! <laughs> oh. <sighs> that last blue just, hmm, yeah. We're just gonna cut that. Just destruction. Holy smokes, that hit hard. <laughs> Whoo! Look at this blue. Man. <sighs> wow. Man, that's not the biggest fish of the day, but that certainly hit the hardest. Just one after another, beautiful big blues out here today. It's Easter week here, and uh, wow, what great fishing. I didn't expect that. We've got a huge storm rolling in next week, so they might be uh, sensing that and stocking up because their bellies are full. Let's get them back in the water. Be free. See you later, dude. For still, there are so many things that I have never seen in every wood, in every spring, there is a different green. Hand line didn't work out today, but if you stick around, I promise you'll see it again. All right, catch and release bluegill. I always let the rest of my bait go, you know? See you later. Man, you gotta be kidding me. I just did a send off. And I think we got another fish. I think this is a big one. We just did our send off. <laughs> oh, I started putting everything away. <laughs> oh, just gonna have to flip them in. What is going on? I'm getting ready to reel up all the poles, change spots. And this happened. What a beautiful fish. Hey, what an amazing day we've had out here. You know, if you've watched my most recent videos, they're not all like this. Oh, wow. Just beautiful fish. Let's get them back in the water. See you later. It's real hot and I'm hungry, so I'm gonna pack it up. Had an awesome time today running and gunning with you, my fellow fried chicken fisherman. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for hanging out. Later. <laughs>